Easily the most involved easter egg in Modern Warfare Zombies can be found hidden below Shaheen Manor. Accessed either via a rappel in the manor itself or by the cave near the lake, underneath the mansion is a network of secret tunnels. These tunnels hide a secret vault. This vault is filled with goodies that you'll no doubt want to get your hands on, but to unlock it, you'll need to defeat three boss mercenaries around the map and find a hidden transmitter, each of which are indicated by a red light above the door and a piece on the chessboard beneath the window. Let's just start with the easiest piece. This can be found in a small hut in the northeast. Inside this hut, sat on the TV, will be a device that will let you send a transmission back to H7. Now, H7 is also known as the vault, so once we've done that, we can move on to the second transmitter. I haven't mentioned it yet, but these can be done in any order. So for my next transmitter, I decided to take on the Knight. The Knight is found patrolling the train lines. If you head clockwise around the map, you'll sooner or later run into him. He's fairly easy to kill, and once you have killed him, he'll drop the second transmitter. Our next transmitter is in the hands of the Rook, who you may have already spotted sniping from the balcony of the hotel in Gallus Seaside. Just to warn you, the hotel is absolutely full of landmines and turrets, so it's probably for the best that you just try and parachute onto the roof like me. From here, it's pretty easy to just gank the Rook, and of course, don't forget to send the transmission to H7. The final boss we'll need to fight is the Bishop, and he can be found in the train tunnel beneath Tanilov Outpost. Similar to the Rook, the Bishop will be waiting for you, and when you arrive, you'll be treated to an ambush. Just make your way through his goons, and once you've killed the Bishop, send his transmission back to H7, and with that, you're ready to return to the vault. It's important to remember that at this point, anyone now has access to the vault, so you're going to want to get back there as quick as possible. So to speed things up, I'd recommend using the nearest runic gateway to teleport back to Shaheen Manor. Now this is the code that you'll need to jump back to the vault, so all you'll need to do is enter this into the gateway and you'll be back in no time. Now we're back at the vault, we can see that all four lights are now lit and the chess pieces have all fallen. All that's left to do is to open the door and collect our loot. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we haven't yet met the king, because he is a mimic hiding inside the vault, and he's standing as your final challenge. Hopefully he shouldn't be too difficult for you at this point, and once he's dead, you can load up on everything inside the vault, including some gold bars, which each sell for three and a half grand at the buy station so it's definitely worth the effort. 